Hey everyone, it's Paul with the Bold Profits for this Tuesday. So I know that many people are sitting back waiting for the stock market to just continue its uninterrupted rise that we've had since March of last year until about February. And I'm here to tell you something that truthfully that those conditions happen from time to time. And many people like to buy when prices are rising really, really fast, when the truth is, is that the best time to buy was obviously into the crash. If you could have got in in March of last year, it was a fantastic time. But the truth is, is that many people like to buy when things are really good and things uh, feel really good. And that is often a poor time to buy. Nonetheless, I'm bringing this up because I've been getting Twitter messages from people wanting timing decisions, Twitter messages from people asking me for specific dates with perfect precision as to when the stock market is going to keep going up the way it was uh, in 2020 and in early 2021. And it made me think that uh, I need to explain to people who uh, we are for, who I am for, uh, who our services are for, who this YouTube channel is for, and who it is not for. In other words, uh, I, I'm often asked questions that we are inexpert on. We really uh, never really cater to you if this is what you're looking for. So this video, I actually want to make to sort of point out if you're in our audience and looking for certain things, perhaps uh, there are better YouTube channels that would serve your purpose better and we want to serve you best. And the number one way we can do that is to save the most precious thing, which is your time. So I just wanna put this out there and this is not intended to be an insult of any kind, just to make things very clear what we are good at, who we are looking to serve and what we believe we do best. So I'll start out with what, who we believe we are not for so you can then stop watching this video um, and find somebody that really suits uh, the information and purpose that you're looking for. So the number one category that I came with that I believe that we are not for is day traders. In other words, people that are looking for multiple trades every day, daily action, buy, sell, buy, sell. Uh, we are definitively not for, for that. The vast majority of our trades in our services are for a minimum of one to three years. So that's a very, very far away from, from a day trader that will make multiple trades every day in the same stock, sometimes minutes, maybe even seconds apart. So definitely day traders, we generally offer almost nothing. Same thing for short-term traders. In other words, people that buy something today and want to sell tomorrow, People call it sometimes swing trading and all, and all of these terms. In other words, very short-term trades. The vast majority of these folks will put a trade on and will sell it out in a few days or at very most in a few weeks. And we definitively have almost nothing to offer folks that want that. The other thing that a lot of people are looking for is sell decisions to avoid volatility, stop losses, trailing stop losses, uh, volatility control. And I can tell you that in our services, we hold through volatility. This is how we came up with the idea of strong hands. In other words, you hold through volatility and we provide some guidance, uh, which we call rules the game, which has a number of, uh, of items there, which we tell you, you can use to try and get through these periods of volatility, to try and get through, endure through these moments of volatility, because I've never seen anyone make big money without being able to endure through volatility. And we're definitely looking to make big money, uh, hundreds of percent, hopefully even thousands of percent, and which then gets to the second one. In other words, a lot of people looking for small gains and we are looking for big gains. If you're looking for small, quick, rapid gains, we are wrong for you, for sure. Uh, the other thing that uh, a lot of people sometimes complain to me about is about the volatility in many of our services. And I will say this, that when you measure in terms of volatility, a lot of our stocks swing a great deal. We are definitively not low risk in terms of volatility. Our stocks can sometimes swing by 30% in a day. Truthfully, in the crash in 2020, 
nearly every stock dropped by 30, 40, sometimes even 50%. However, on the flip side, they also came back and they went back and made new highs, where even people that had bought in prior to the crash ended up making 50, 70, 90, or even some cases, hundreds of percent. People who were willing to buy into low made even much more than that. So um, uh, I can say that we're definitively wrong for all of those folks. So I've, I think that should sort of really uh, draw a pretty good line for many people in terms of the comments that I get sometimes on YouTube. Hey, what's going to happen tomorrow? What's going to happen next week? This event happened. Does it mean it's the end? And in all likelihood, we are never going to give you the kind of information that you're looking for. We will give you information when there's something like a big crash that happens. And you can go back to March 24th of last year. And I made a video saying, hey, strong hands, stay in. And I was really made fun of. Uh, I was called stupid, dumb, and I was going to go down. You can go back and, and watch this video uh, and see um, uh, what I said at the time and what people's reaction for, for which leads very much into uh, my next section of this video, which is who are we right for? Um, so in thinking about this, when I look at the stock picks, uh, we focus on big mega trends. Right now, the big mega trends are technological, internet of things, artificial intelligence, blockchain, the transition from carbon energy to sustainable energy, which we refer to as new energy, there's precision medicine, which is the use of information to make much better decisions about our healthcare. Then we've got emerging new industries of space and uh, urban aviation. So all of the things that we focus on are generally future oriented. In other words, where we are looking at something that is happening right now and where the vast majority of people are going to come to it probably three, five, maybe the latecomers will even come seven or 10 years from now. And we come in relative to those folks early because we are trying to make big money. We are trying to go for hundreds of percent, if not thousands of percent. Uh, and we try to do that consistently. And thus far, we have a pretty good track record of doing this. So the folks that we are right for, they're future oriented, willing to make the big money, want and willing and like making big money. And because you're in early, you have to want to be there, to be, be there at the start of a big new trend. Um, and um, I mentioned in, 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 in the previous segment that, you know, to get the benefit of being early of, and, and to make big money, you have to be there for some period of time minimum of one to three years. Some of our trades uh, can even run longer than that. In fact, SG Microelectronics, which was the very first trade associated with the Internet of Things, is still in our Profits Unlimited portfolio. I mentioned earlier as well, you have to be willing to accept volatility in exchange for these high returns. Um, because as I mentioned, I've never seen anybody, and you can look at all the greatest investors, speculators, they all endure through volatility to make the big money. The big money is made by allowing the market to do the work rather than bouncing around buying and selling all the time where you never end up really making any sizable amounts of returns. And the other thing that as I was thinking about this, which is that many of the things that by being future oriented, by you know buying in somewhere near the beginning of the trend, wanting to make big money, they're often negatively written about by other people, uh, whether it be the financial media like Yahoo Finance or Market Watch or the Wall Street Journal or any of these sort of media outlets, they will be down on things like Tesla, on Bitcoin or on Zoom or on Uber or on Zillow uh, when these stocks are really primed to rise the most because of the fact that the markets anticipate, they look forward, they look ahead. So people will be able to go and look and criticize a Tesla and say, well, they don't make enough cars. Their autopilot software is nowhere near ready. Look at General Motors, they make hundreds of thousands of cars. Tesla does not deserve its 
market capitalization and stock market value. And you have to be able to get used to seeing that sort of that kind of criticism from analysts, from investment banks, from the media, maybe even from your friends and family, and certainly from other YouTube channels. So this is uh, something that if you can handle that, then we are right for you. Um, and this one goes along with that, which is that uh, probably until you make the big money, be prepared for other people to tell you that you are wrong, uh, probably stupid, maybe dumb. And you know the greatest evidence of this is probably Tesla, where the vast majority of people who own Tesla really have been told that pretty much from the moment they bought it. And I certainly have taken my share of it, whether it be on Tesla, whether it be on Bitcoin, and today on pretty much every single stock where if you watch our Profits Unlimited update, updates and Profits Unlimited uh, is my flagship newsletter, goes for 49 to 79 to $99, depending on what deal my publisher is offering. So link below for ProfitsUnlimited.com uh, if you're interested uh, to go check it out. Um, the uh, in, in Profits Unlimited, I definitely answer a lot of questions questioning me week after week. Why are we in this? Why are we in this? And until we start making the big money, sometimes it's hard for other people to, to buy into these ideas. So you have to be willing to potentially really face other people's points of view, which are quite different than, than, than what we tell you. Uh, the other one is that many people join Profits Unlimited with their ways of doing things and um, some of the ways that people invest prior to coming in is they buy one stock and put all their money in it. I call it all in investing, making an all in bet on one single stock. Um, the other things that, 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 that people do is they buy and sell all the time uh, rather than what we suggest, which is building a portfolio, equal weighting it, and then allowing volatility to sort of wash through it and waiting for the market to do the work to make the big money. So the second thing that you should be willing to do is sort of adjust your current way to adopt a new way for this growth oriented strategy, innovation stock based strategy. And the, the, the next thing that I also mentioned that we do, which sometimes I get criticized for a lot, is that sometimes we put a stock in and then shortly after the facts change. Uh, the company perhaps uh, uh, has an event, whether it be earnings, maybe it's a product or service that's gone wrong, or perhaps there is some pattern uh, that I've noticed from my past experience that tells me that there's something going on that I need to be wary of, that the market is ahead of the actual news that is being put out there, and we change our mind and we sell. And sometimes people get angry at me, they get annoyed at me for doing this. However, uh, we have to be willing to change our minds when the facts change. And so some people get very tied down and, 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 and uh, attached to the stocks. And when the facts change, we sell and we move on. And even in this, I can tell you that for the most part, generally, we've had a good track record in, in selling stocks that needed to be sold. And many of them have declined a great deal or else simply stood, stood still while other stocks have risen a great deal. And there's always this, the, these two elements to it. In other words, uh, staying in a stock that's simply going to stand still may seem okay. However, understand that there are other stocks that if you are looking out one or three, five years can generate hundreds of percent, if not thousands of percent in return. And we want to try and go and find those stocks and be in it. And the last thing I'll mention before ending this video is that um, many people want a super duper easy strategy. And I can tell you that Profits Unlimited is a strategy that you will need to put some work into. There are the weekly updates, which my amazing, fantastic colleague, uh, Amber Lancaster and I, who's on uh, the YouTube channel along with me, and I spend a lot of time on, and this is an update where we answer as many questions as we can. We can never answer every single question, but we try to answer as many questions as we can. And we do that pretty much every week. These videos are 30 minutes long uh, after crashes and problems. They can even stretch over an hour uh, as we try and guide people, provide guidance, answer questions, um, and, and 
try and provide the assurance based on our expertise, our understanding, and our knowledge. So the bottom line is that there is work that you will need to do on your money, your finances, your stocks, your selection. And the very last thing is that ultimately you are in control. You determine your destiny. You determine what stocks you're going to buy. You determine if you are going to follow the general guidance that we provide, because we are not financial advisors. We are simply idea providers. We provide you with stock ideas. We provide you with information about trends that we believe are unfolding that represent incredibly profitable, phenomenal uh, profit opportunities for you to get in on. Internet of Things is, is the greatest example that really we've built our business on. And uh, artificial intelligence, blockchain, you know all of them from, from being on channel. Um, uh, th those, th that's what we do. We, we, we show you these opportunities. We show you the stocks that we believe are positioned best to benefit from these opportunities. And from there, the rest is up to you. It is in your hands. And that is perhaps the most important thing in terms of who we are right for. It is folks that are willing to take action, want to take action, want control of their own finances, of their investing, of their money. So hopefully this was a useful video for you. As usual, I am going to ask you that if you did actually like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Tell us below, who are we right for you? Uh, uh, do you think that what we offer is right for you? And um, we will have another video for you next week um, on one of these things that we believe that you will be super interested in. Until then, this is Paul saying bye.